Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the characteristics of a DC shunt motor. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive, the link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. The first characteristics is armature torque versus armature current, TA versus IA. So we know that the relation between TA and IA is TA is directly proportional to pi into IA. Armature torque is depends upon the flux and armature current. But in case of sun generator, the flux is constant. The flux is almost constant. So the armature torque is directly proportional to only armature current. TA is directly proportional to IA. So that can be written as TA equal to K into IA. K is the constant. So both are proportional to each other. When IA increases, the torque also increases. So that is given in the graph. When the armature current increases, the torque also increases in a linear manner because this is similar to the equation of state line y equal to m into x. So due to that, the curve also a state line because of linear and the similar to the state line equation of state line, the curve also a state line. When armature current increases, torque also increases. The sun motor are not started on heavy load because they need high starting current which will affect the voltage regulation and the electrical installation. So the sun motors are not started with the heavy load. After started, the load can be gradually increased. Otherwise, it will take the large amount of current that will affect the voltage regulation as well as the electrical installation. But series motor can be started with the loader condition. Now we will go to the second characteristics, speed versus armature current, N versus IA, speed versus armature current. So we know that N is directly proportional to EB divided by pi. The speed is directly proportional to back EMF and inversely proportional to flux. But in sand motor, we know that the flux is constant. So the speed is directly proportional only back EMF. But the back EMF is given EB equal to V minus IA into RA. So this RA is very small. So that IA, RA drop also very small so that we can neglect the term IA, RA. So that the EB is directly, EB is equal to only voltage. This applied voltage is almost constant. This voltage also constant. Therefore, speed also constant, right. So, the uh, here speed is depends upon the back EMF and pi. Pi is almost constant. By analyzing the back EMF equation, this drop is very less so that it is neglected. Only depends upon the V, but V is also constant so that EB also constant. So, the speed is almost constant. See this, when the armature current increases, the speed is almost constant, slightly reduces due to some losses, due to loss and friction, that is slightly reduces, that is almost nearly constant. So from this we are able to analyze that, when the armature current increases, the speed is almost constant, because the back EMF and pi also almost constant. But when flux and EB, back EMF decreases, with increase in the load. If you increase the load, the flux and back EMF will increase. So decrease in the EMF is higher than the decrease in the flux. So if the, the decrease in the EMF is higher than the flux. So the speed will decrease slightly with the increase in the load. But for all practical applications, the sun motor is called almost a constant speed motor. This will be compensated. If I will, while increasing the load, pi and EB will change this, but it will be compensated. So it is almost a constant speed motor. Sun motor is also called a constant speed motor. Now we will go to the next characteristics. Speed versus armature torque, N versus TA. So this can be obtained from the previous two curve for the different values of armature current. Find the value of armature torque speed from the previous two curve 
then we can draw the speed versus armature torque curve. So, this is also almost constant. When the armature torque increases, the speed is almost constant. So, there is a slight dip in the speed, other than that, it is almost constant. So, this one can be obtained, this characteristic is obtained from the previous two characteristics. So, in this video, we discuss about the characteristics of a DC stunt motor, three different characters we analyzed. The first one is the armature torque versus armature current, second one speed versus armature current, third one speed versus armature torque. Subscribe this channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.